movie lovers and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. When people goes down to mines looking for a good time and you start hearing creepy noises and then something comes out and goes bump in the night, stay the hell out of there. That's not a good party to visit. <laughs> burn, burn. Burn. Directed by Loro Chartrin and written by Natasha Barron. Yeah, I got that right. Woo. This movie was really good. I, I really enjoyed it. It reminded you a lot about a uh, wrong turn. If you remember wrong turn part one, I'm not even gonna say wrong turn. His wrong turn stretched what? All the way up to nine. Wow. Yeah, it's it's a lot of wrong turns. But this movie is its own movie, though. I'm just saying that the the tone of it reminds you of wrong turn. But the movie starts off pissing me off because I end up seeing <laughs> end up seeing this guy. He's out with his family. You know, just just. A lovely scenery hour this this time, and you see them. And he's pulled he pulled his uh, metal suitcase out of his uh, truck, and he puts it on the ground, and he's grabbing his camera and everything, because you know you can tell he's a photographer, you know, for, for something. And he's, you know, his his wife decided that she wants to go up there and see what he do, you know, check out his work, and she got an infant baby with him. So they end up walking inside this. Now, for one, when you see the mine, you know it's just a bad idea, straight off the jet, like right off the front. You just know it's a bad idea. Okay, it's empty, there's helmets on the wall, they walking up inside the mine, next thing you know, they're in the mine, they get to this one location where it's like you see these tracks and everything, and then they hear this weird ass sound. Now, to me, to y'all, if you somewhere that you don't know like that, and then you hear a sound that's really creepy, would you try to stay there? Like, would y'all even want to stay in a place like that? So he ignores it. He ends up going upstairs to go do some, uh, you know, photography or whatever. And the wife is like, yeah, okay, okay. But then she hears another weird thing and he hears it. So he's like, hello, anybody there? I'm like, okay, that's the second time, guys. Let's go. Let's go. This is me. This is what I'm saying. This is great. And it's still there. So he goes upstairs. The wife hears something. Then the wife goes to look for her husband because she's calling her husband. Because she's like, I hear some noise and stuff is uncomfortable. And I think, you know, she hear, you can hear her husband get slit up. And next thing you know, she's like running and screaming and shit. So she ends up hiding with the baby. Instead of running straight to the car, she hides with the baby. They end up finding her. And then you already know what happened after that. I don't even need to even say anymore. But then it shows this group of friends, you know, out on the road trip. Trying to take the sights in and all that good stuff. And they ended up looking for gas because they needed gas and stuff like that. And then the roads end up being jacked up. Like you got these one rocks. Cause they try to drive up this one area where they, they saw like this whole like all these rocks on the ground the thing that pissed me off about the rock situation was the rocks were cgi which i wish they hadn't done that but that was the only bad flaw about the situation so they end up running into this dead body this car that's flipped over and they see this dead body in there so they go for help and end up going to the uh shop with gas gas station yes and they talk to these two twins which i love them by the way they was awesome before I get any further in this movie, let's get this movie ready, shall we? I give this movie a big ass smiley face. Oh yeah. Oh, movie lovers, I'm still trying to wonder, like, why does this, why does she even bring the baby in the mind? I mean, even one of the guys that got to the mind later on in the movie even said the same thing. He like, who the fuck would bring a baby down here? Like, mm -hmm. it was crazy. Like, I wouldn't believe that. But the movie was pretty good because it turns out that Blackburn was this asylum where people was at, and then they had all these different people that was there in the asylum, and then this one woman they called the bride. She was like the 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 the, the real motherfucker that was there because she the one that she killed all her husbands, which was crazy. When they found her, they they found her in what in a room with mm -hmm. all the people that she married, all mm -hmm. the guys that she married. She slain them while mm -hmm. being pregnant with their baby. Think about it, their baby. <laughs> That's just straight up my fuck right there. That's crazy. But then what make matters worse, you got this other guy called Three Eyes, which is he's weird as shit. And then you got this this real tall, like ugly, like the 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 monster look that they did for these guys, for everyone that, that played as the people that was in this in this asylum. They did a good job with the makeup effects, no question about that. The director did a good job, and the writer did a good job as well. Just the rocks part, I just was not feeling. But like I said, bodies was just turning up. They found a couple bodies, then they ended up going down the mine, which is, I don't even know why the fuck would anybody go down the mines, because think about it, the mines. The mines. 
where any possible fucked up thing could happen down there, and they went down there. Um, the the brutal parts, like when people get killed. Now that they the unsuspected moments, those are the moments that you don't even see coming. Like it just happens. Like somebody could be talking in out the middle of nowhere, somebody could just have a pole shoved through their mouth. Right throughout the back of their head, and you won't even see that coming. So, a lot of kills in this movie really shocked me. I did not see that coming. I thought that was good. Overall, I thought the movie was pretty decent. I thought it was pretty good. You know, I've seen worse. So, like I said, I thought this movie was pretty good. Check it out, Blackburn. Check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Blackburn, because I already told you what I thought about it. I thought it was pretty good. The kills was pretty fair. I didn't like the rocks, though, because that kind of like, yeah. And then the lady bringing the baby down to my. Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> Two. All my movie lovers. I love you.